They wore shirts donning the phrase, say her name. Members of a local coalition sparking a movement to rename one of Savannah's historic squares after Susie King Taylor. Born into slavery, Taylor became a Civil War nurse and the first black teacher openly teaching African Americans in Georgia. This moment is the prophetic perfect because Susie King Taylor longed for this moment. 10 days into Black History Month this year, the city of Savannah officially dedicated the square at East Wayne and Abercorn Streets as Taylor Square. Removing the name Calhoun, citing former Vice President John C. Calhoun's defending of slavery. Pat Gunn helped lead the movement to rename the square after Taylor, saying it was important to highlight her history. Susan King Taylor was a very big influencer of teaching folks in the midst of enslavement how to read, write, and count. A move that drew national attention, hundreds gathered for the dedication, which saw a square named for an African-American woman for the first time in Savannah's nearly 300-year history. We've never been scared here in Savannah to do the right thing, and we're not scared today. As signs saying Taylor Square are permanently placed, visitors from now on will say her name. Change never come without struggle, and joy never come without pain. Reporting Flint Snyder, WTOC News.